Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk about some brand new releases that are yet to be released in Pokemon Go but will be coming very shortly into the game. So these have all been mined, data mined in the next coming update that's already been released on Pokemon but we haven't yet been added to the game. So these are courtesy of Pokeminers. You can find them on Twitter at, at Pokey underscore Miners and they go through all the new updates when Pokemon receives a new update, they scowl all the data and all the code in the background and they get all this information before it's even released on the game. So, without further ado, number one to be added to a game is Turtonator. Now, we knew about this before. It's released on plenty of graphics and it's coming out in the new event which starts at the end of this month, at end of June. And it's going to be a brand new shiny release as well so very similar to how drug Dagon got released back in the day when that first got released it will be on level three raids it'll be shiny from the get-go and you can just go out and raid it to try and get that shiny in terms of anything meta relevant it doesn't appear that it will be any meta relevance at all so turtonator very similar lines to drug Dagon. it's not going to be meta relevant it might just be a case of getting a shiny and then stop raiding them or it might actually have some play in pvp so we'll see what this is a move set on the screen now so we'll see what this move set does for it in terms of pvp the stats of all these moves you know the power output and everything like that haven't been released yet so we'll wait to see what happens with that but it's an interesting ad so that's number one number two is amazon prime gaming so amazon prime gaming has teamed back up it was already linked with pokemon go years ago and then we cut the partnership and now we've reunited again so we can now start getting benefits through linking amazon prime gaming to pokemon go again the first bundle was available a couple of days ago so if you haven't claimed that make sure you go onto your amazon prime gaming and go and claim that but this data that the data miners have found, Pokeminers have found, is actually related to an Amazon Prime Gaming special research, which will be available in your special research, and it will only be available for those that have got their Amazon Prime Gaming linked to their Pokemon Go account. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and link your Amazon Prime Gaming to Pokemon Go so you don't miss out on the special research. Number three is actually quite an interesting one i've been wanting this for a while in the game and probably a lot of you watching will want this feature as well for quite a while but it is actually in the data and in the code for the next coming weeks and months it will might be released so fingers crossed this does come through but it is a ready up button in the raid lobbies so we don't know exactly how this is going to work but there is code in the game to have a ready up button in the lobby and there's also code for a timeout on the ready up button it's very so i'm guessing that will work very similar to the remotes that you can't send remotes after you've got 20 seconds left on the lobby it'll be a case that you can't ready up if there's if the time has already gone down to 20 seconds or something along those lines but that's very interesting as well so it could be a case where you don't have to wait two minutes anymore for those one star raids that you want to do you can literally just jump in by yourself hit the ready up button it will time down from a few seconds and then you'll be straight into a raid so it'll make a lot of easier solo raids as well as just raiding with your mates if you know no one else is coming you can just raid with your mates all hit the ready up button and then go straight to the next raid it'll be especially helpful in raid hour situations all those raid day situations as well number four also includes raids so straight after you've done a raid at the moment if you've had a raid and you've remoted somebody or you aren't friends with somebody in that raid lobby you will now be able to send them a friend request straight after that raid from interaction with that raid so it will actually enable you to send a friend request to people who you aren't friends with yet and straight after a raid if you've done that raid with them or they've had a remote from somebody else that you're friends with and you want to add them straight after that raid, you can do that straight away. It'll be a lot easier to do. So we'll wait and see how that works. 
whether it'll be a case that you can only friend request people who have attended in person or whether it'll be a case that you can friend request people who have remoted as well. That's going to be quite interesting, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, four brand new features coming to Pokemon Go very soon. I'm excited for all four of them coming soon on Pokemon Go. Make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. What's your fav favorite feature out of all those four? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.